Have you ever carried and brought your own food with you while you were in abroad? Well, have you ever been to a stock farm immediately after your trip abroad? Korea has border quarantine at the airport or port to prevent the influx of foreign animal infections such as food and mouth disease, highly pathogenic avian influenza, and African swine fever. Most livestock and raw fruits are not imported. Major restricted items include meats such as beef, pork, lamb, processed meats such as jerky, sausage, ham, jangjorin, agricultural products such as raw fruits, vegetables, nuts, and plants such as seeds and seedlings. These items are also restricted to international mail. Also, you should be careful not to bring in restricted items such as livestock and raw fruits if you invite your family such as your parents. If you do not report animal or plant items brought in by hand, you will be fined up to 5 million won. People who work in stock farms are prohibited from entering farm and livestock shed for five days after the overseas trip. Also, wash your clothes that you were wearing while you were on your overseas trip right after entering Korea and please take care of personal hygiene such as taking showers. Also, you should wear working clothes and boots for farm work and sterilize your shoes when entering the livestock shed. You are a quarantine officer who makes Korea a clean country. The Ministry of Gender Equality and Family Affairs and the National Statistical Office will conduct the 2018 nationwide multicultural family survey in order to identify the current status of multicultural families and to use the result in setting policies for multicultural families. This survey is conducted every three years based on the Multicultural Family Support Act, and it is conducted by the Ministry of Gender Equality and Family and the National Statistical Office Conduct Survey. The survey will be conducted from August 9 to 30 for a total of 22 days, and the survey is targeted at 25,000 selected households nationwide consisting of married immigrants, naturalized citizens, their spouses, and children. The survey is conducted through interviews by the National Statistical Office visiting the households. The researchers will investigate overall living conditions that include basic household composition, marital status, marriage life, child rearing, and Korean language ability. Most of the researchers will be female employees who will wear identification card upon the visit. Multicultural family members who do not have good Korean language proficiency will be provided with a multilingual manual and questionnaire. In addition, the National Statistical Office strictly protects the contents of the investigation based on the Statistics Act. The survey results will be used to establish multicultural family policies such as early adjustment of multicultural families, support for social and economic independence, and various support programs. Hence, multicultural families are highly encouraged to actively cooperate and participate on the survey. Inquiries related to the survey can be made at Da Nuri Call Center or the National Statistical Office. At Amman TV, we'll see video clips about accident and incident as well as news report related to immigrants. If you'd like to report, please call us or contact us via email.